Good evening, everyone. Well, the Norway Knights baseball team has been to the Division Four regionals a couple times, but they couldn't bring home the big trophy. They hoped today would be different, but they had to travel to Rogers City to do it. The Knights met Indian River Inland Lakes in the regional semifinal. Well, the team led by a couple runs at the midway point of the game, and their defense was top notch. Now, first, John Edwardson records a strikeout to end the top of the fourth inning. He also pitched pretty well in the districts. Now, Inland Lakes couldn't get anything going on offense, so let's move to the top of the seventh. Bryce Gravald handles a routine grounder with confidence and gets a good throw to first. And Norway post a 4-1 victory over Inland Lakes as they move on to the regional final. Well, also in Rogers City, Rudyard would fall 3-0 to Johannesburg Lewiston, so Norway would play another set of Bulldogs in the regional final. Well, bottom of the first, let's get to the highlights. Norway gets the bats going quickly. Taylor Bonetti singles to center field. John Edwardson receives a green light around third, and he will score to put the blue and white in front 1-0. But a couple moments later, Bryce Grevald doing what he does best, and that's get hits. He gets this one the opposite way for the single, and runner Nick Pierman will cross the plate for the Knights. Let's make it 2 nothing. And their defense always stellar, made several great plays in this one. Redyard's Cody Coffey rolls one slowly between the mound and first, and Austin Grayball, a nice defensive play there to end the inning. A couple innings later, Redyard only trailed 3-2 to two when Luke Staker grounded to third. The Knights turned the 5-4-3 double play thanks to the stretch of Cody Carlson, and Norway hangs on to win 5-3 to three as they bring home the regional trophy back to Dickinson County. They lost the last two regional finals, and this year was a struggle. We did not play well in long stretches, but they put it together in districts, and they had a great day today. And you know, what can you say? You're Mike Fall, John Edwardson. You've got uh, you know young kids out there, older kids. They're all playing together. Norway meets Maple City Glen Lake Tuesday in a Division Four quarterfinal at Traverse City West. Well, in some more scores tonight, Division Two baseball in Cadillac, the Eskimos win 6-1 against Nowago, and Gladwin wins 4-2 over Whitehall. So, in the regional championship game, the Eskimos, though, they would fall 4-1 to Gladwin. Well, over in Traverse City, St. Francis, the Braves broke this game wide open in the seventh. St. Puglia, great day on the mound for him, 11 strikeouts. They win 10-2 over the host team in Boyne City. They defeat Whitmore Prescott 9-3. And in the program's second season, the Braves are regional champs as they win 5-2 over Boyne City. They will face Muskegon Oak Ridge this Tuesday in their quarterfinal matchup. And finally, in some Legion ball, the Marquette Blues travel to Marshfield. They would win 7-0. Their second game was rained out. Back to some softball Division Four regionals. Let's go to this one. Rapid River and Rogers City, a very competitive semifinal game. Bottom of the first, Huron's leadoff batter Logan Fleming unloads a shot to left. It clears the fence with room to spare. So Rogers City, they go up 1-0. It stayed that way until the fourth when Kendall Miller responded after a Huron error blasting this offering over the center field fence for a two-run homer and a rocket one-run lead. But in the fifth, after a walk to Fleming Courtney strike, lofts one down the right field line. That's fair. The speedy Fleming cruises home to not this contest at two. This game went into extra innings. Rapid River, though, could not capitalize despite having bases loaded and nobody out. And Roger City takes three to two. While the second semifinal had Norway and Indian River Inland Lakes, top of the second, Harley Caster bounces this one to third. The throw is high. Look out, Luds! Almost got hit by that one. Gets out of harm's way. Ashley Zanone scores, and Carter advances to second. Moments later, Brandy Strong lobs a fly down the left field line. The ball falls in fair territory. Zanone motors around third, and she touches the plate, and the Knights take a 2-0 lead. Third inning, Norway really opens it up, and in the end, Bobby Hulse two-run homer. The Knights, they crossed to a 15-3 victory. So, folks, that set up a norway Roger City Regional final top of the first. This one was also a good one. Kayla Fleury will gently single to center field. Morgan Hall will score in the Hurons. They lead to nothing and their offense pretty potent this afternoon. Bottom of number one, though, they're trailing by three. Rachel Connery smacks saw one to center field just in front of the outfielder. JC Ball will dash home speedy speedy there, but Connery was out at third and Rogers City up three one. Top of this second, couple runners on for Alexa Quain. She launches one to left field, 
and Britta Greyvold is there, but oh, the ball bounces out of her glove and over the fence for a three run home run. And the Hurons, they take an 8 1 lead, and they will go on to take the regional title 16 4 over Norway. Well, in Division Two, Remus Chippewa Hills, they lost to Escanaba last year in the regional finals. They get their revenge tonight. They win one nothing over Escanaba. In Division Three, Boyne City exploded 14-5 over Tawas area and Gladstone. Tenor Sharon, nice game in the circle. They win 3-1 over Traverse City St. Francis. So the Braves earn their 12th straight regional title. They defeat Boyne City 4-1. They will also face Muskegon Oak Ridge next Tuesday. Our website UpperMichiganSource.com and lots of highlights tomorrow as well. Maria Sharapova in the French Open and also the Iron Range Roll and those highlights in the late news tomorrow. You know how those softball games were really, really deceptive looking because looking at them, you wouldn't tell, you wouldn't think there was so much rain today. I mean, torrential stuff. Yeah, they kind of beat the rain downstate a little bit, but on the way back, uh, Mike said he got some rain coming in through Goodison. Yeah, well, he missed it, thankfully. Yeah. All right, thank you, Lily. Still to come on your TV6 Late News, if you like bull riding and barrel racing at the rodeo, then Kearney was the place to be today when we come back.